live coverage of Expo North as it happens. This is Expo North Live. Lawrence Sutcliffe is the film officer promoting the Highlands and Islands to film and television and he joins me now. Tell me exactly, what's your role as a as film officer? What does that mean? I'm employed by the Highland Council and my role is broadly part of the economic development team but with a specific focus on the film and wider media industries. And what we're trying to do is encourage film, television, um, corporate video shoots, some still photography work, uh, catalogues, calendars, that kind of thing, to come to the north of Scotland, particularly to the Highland area, and to use our locations and, where possible, to employ local businesses, local individuals who work in the industry, just trying to bring some of the money that's in the media industry to the north of Scotland and provide employment opportunities for people who want to work in that industry but who also want to live in the far north. And to you shorthand, you, you and your team are the people that brought Harry Potter to the Highlands and James Bond to the Highlands. Uh, yes, uh, Harry Potter came just about the time that I was joining the film office many years ago. And that obviously was a great big feather in our cap, huge amounts of media coverage, which still to this day, I think is a benefit to the area and mm. um, the tourism that has followed those movies and continues to follow them as new generations discover the films and the books. They want to see the route of the Hogwarts Express, they want to see the places where Hagrid's cat little house once was. Um, they're certainly coming to the area and following Skyfall, um, the James Bond film from a few years ago, the small lay-by in Glencoe is proving immensely popular with people <laughs> wanting to recreate the shot of uh, Bond and M standing in front of the Aston Martin. Um, although I'm not sure it works quite so well with a metro or something like that. <laughs> I mean, when film production companies or television production companies uh, approach you, are there, are there particular hotspots, beauty spots in the Highlands that you think, I know exactly the place? Uh, yes, we get two kinds of inquiries. We get the inquiry who know what they want and they're just coming to us to smooth their way um, to get all the right contacts in terms of ownership, roads and things like that. And then we get the broader inquiries who say, we're interested in a car commercial, we want that car to end up at a white cottage on the shores of a loch and we will then go through our database and provide them with those um, locations that we have registered with us and it's up to them to then sort of say oh yes that's the one we want or you're not quite hitting the spot can we have some more suggestions there are some locations though that are always going to be popular uh, Elandon and Castle is one the number of inquiries we get of people who go oh I've seen this interesting looking castle and you kind of have to go oh yes yes that's original nobody's ever thought of that before um, and Sky Sky is always popular, always busy, and in some ways I think we've made a rod for our own back with the success we've had on Sky. Yeah. It's featured in several movies of the last couple of years, um, the beginning of Prometheus, it's um, the land of the giants for the BFG, the Spielberg movie that's about to be released, and as a result so many productions want to go there that really Sky is kind of at capacity a lot of the year in terms of accommodation, where people want to shoot. Um, and you have to turn people down sometimes. You have to say, look, I'm sorry, but somebody's got in ahead of you and the Kerrang and Tottenish Ridge, they're just not available at the moment. Can you shift your shoot um, to when Spielberg or um, Tony Scott are not up there? Is there a danger you might get a bit blasé? Oh, there's Spielberg on the phone again, wanting to borrow Isle of Sky. I, I don't get to speak to those people very often, uh, very occasionally, um, if they're up this way. Normally I'm speaking to the location manager, the location scout, um, production unit manager, um, and once the production has decided on where they want to be, we really take a step back then, and unless they are running into problems, if they're having a um, and a, an overrun on the shoot or the director's seen something while they're up there and wants to include that, then they might get in touch with us again. But really, once the production is in the area, we are less involved than we are at the pre-production stage until they've packed up and gone away and then we get in touch again to just follow up, say, have you had a good experience? What went well? And we can continue doing those. What went badly? We can see what we can do to smooth that out for the future. And also to ask them what they have spent in the area because ultimately we are interested in the economic benefits to the Highlands mm. of media production. 
And, and what, what are the economic benefits to the Highlands? Can you quantify it? Uh, we expect for projects that come through us, and not all projects do, um, there are many productions which come up to the area regularly. I think a lot of the Gaelic language productions who are based up here anyway, who very often don't need our help. So what comes through us, we estimate between a million and a million and a half pounds inward investment every year. And that then, for a lot of those projects, we can apply a tourism multiplier to that. So the big feature films will very often return an extra £1.50 on their own investment as tourists follow, and that can last for several years. Well, if there's a person alive who can go over the Glenfinnan Viaduct without thinking about Harry Potter, no, it's, it's, it's a rare one, and that's probably down to you and your team. Lawrence, thank you very much for joining us. Very welcome. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you.